J O N. Play me some pimping. Not that Tupac is bad, but you know, it's about time we make this shit happen, bro. Cause you know, I actually listen to what the people like, bro. And you know, I'm active on social media, and people keep saying, "Hey, bro, get Miss B nasty in the trap." Like, Especially when you said you wanted to be my Uber driver. Man, you know I want to be your Uber driver. The fuck? You don't ever, you don't ever have to need a driver. Shit. Say less. What do you want to drive, the Tesla or the Jeep? Should I pull up in some of my shit if you know, whatever. Whatever. However you want to do it. I just need the back seat. I'm good. I got the hat with the GoPro already on it. Oh, I got all that too. Got the magnet things so we can get angles. You need any of these lights? No, I, got no, I got a portable one for the car. I got, all right. USB plug plugs. Let's keep the crew scale down. Let's just keep it up, to, you know, me. just me and you. Personal. Right. Because I'm not on the scene. I'm really just back there doing all the shit. Getting squirted keeping, on. Yeah, keeping you interested. Throwing you one-liners and shit. Sometimes I'm going to come around and knock on the door, act like, hey, you can't be over here. And then we'll work something out. And be like, oh, my neighbor just right. can't. Yeah, that's what I be doing with everybody. All the videos are fake. Yeah, I just want to goddamn put my. I just want to reach in the car. Oh, everybody wants me to get caught for real. So just come bang on the window. What you doing? Need help? Y'all to go viral. You already wrote the scene. Mm -hmm. I like how you get down. Mm -hmm. This Got is to. good. This channel 85 right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you I was gonna make this shit happen. This channel 85. Jack, know right I'm here. a fan. You know, you got you make Tuesdays worthwhile. You bring yeah, titties from take, all over the world. We had to take today off, though. I know. Yeah. I know. The girls didn't give up, though. They were upset. Yeah, they found an alternative source, you know, to put them titties out. It's a yeah. ritual now. Yeah. They were, the men's were upset. They said they needed the titties to uh, be consoled. Get over the grief. Yeah. But, you know, got to be a little respectful. Shit didn't get too serious. J.O.N., bring the pimpin' back. I'm about to do the intro. Give me two seconds, man. Two seconds? Yeah, yeah. We All started right, to my titties and the computer just the, the computer got yeah. happy and... I don't know, man. Oh, you yeah. must got the Siri on. She went to your search history. He had to turn the whole shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have everybody looking you up, Miss B. Nasty. Goddamn. No, please, do. I need the numbers to go up. Pornhub, please. Pornhub? Yeah. Shit is hard to oh, find You can stream on, on that? Pornhub. I don't stream. I just post, like, older things and, like, uh, same things I post on Twitter, but a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Just so they'll go look, because Pornhub pays via views now. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Somebody pull up the Pornhub they and run the check views in. up. Right, pull the You should get it. Up. All you have to do is get verified. Okay. Hold, how do I get verified on Pornhub? You, you just sign up. Make a verification video. No. You just sign up. I want to be a creator. Load your ID. Give your name, your address. Add your banking shit. And then I think you got to write like a piece of paper with your name and for a porn hub or whatever. And that's it. Take like 48 hours to get verified. And if you see videos of you on the internet for real, you say, hey, that's me. They go and they put it on your account and they give you all the views and all the money. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I have Pornhub, because I found my car wash video. The first one, it was on there and it had like 2 million views. Okay, all right. Now, now what would have happened like if I found somebody that claimed one of my videos already and whatnot? Can I un get them to unclaim my video and claim my video back? You gotta prove ownership. Mm. They'll know, they'll do like a, they'll be able to match your face. Or if you claim it and say it's yours, they can't really deny it, to be honest. What if, if my verified. face ain't in there? Um, I don't know how they do that, but <laughs> nobody's face is in my videos, and they just be accepting their IDs. Oh. So I like, how do you know that dick is theirs? Because you can't see. So them. people be claiming people dicks. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that shit around him. Oh, you done fucked up. No, no I'm trying to see because I probably didn't try to cut for get a couple extra dollars off this. No, I'm Stop. talking about for my my page. Stop Jay. the money side. You finna get yeah. on there for real? I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, man. I got a couple of videos on there already. Oh. You think I'm, you know somebody? I think everybody probably got videos of them fucking on their phone. Exactly. It's 20, 22. Yeah, you, you ain't never lost the phone before, Carlos, and then your cloud didn't got all exposed to everybody. And... I would die. I mean, well, I guess what I you, wouldn't what, now. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got nothing There's to be still, ashamed there are, there are still videos that I've never posted. Like, I got a video of me eating somebody's ass, but he ain't never want me to post it. Hey, well, check this out. <laughs> Nigga had second thoughts. No, everybody gonna know them. Them my knees. Yeah. Them my knees. Yeah. 
I don't have no problem with shit like that. I think it's because he had he was like on his knees, face down, ass up. That's what I do. I mean, it's how else are you gonna do it? It's either your feet are up like mine, or your face down, ass up. How you getting your ass ate? Yeah, this nigga's crazy. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely. I think it's because he was a blue check. That's crazy. So they feel a little weirder about being on video. Yeah, nigga, too famous for this shit. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Oh my God. I know the 85 South Show is usually for the family, but today it's for the grown people only. This is our goddamn. The grown and slutty. This is for the goddamn. Oh God. Grown and nasty. Ooh. We're not getting slutty today, Jack. It's getting real nasty in here today. It's gonna get nasty. How nasty it's gonna get? Bro, I'm, ex I'm excited, Jack. It's not every day that we get a, a whole star in here like oh this. God. This lady right here done damn near changed the whole way people watch porn on the internet, man. She done created her own lane of shit and she just doing it and running it up. Doing her thing. Everybody's favorite name to type in the search bar. I know it's one of mine. Oh, gosh. None other oh, than yeah. Miss B Nasty. Yeah! Oh, my yes. gosh. Yeah! Yes! Thank you, thank you. That was an amazing introduction. Oh, I fucks with you. Literally. I know. Literally. That's why I'm here. I fucks with you. Yeah. Welcome to the trap. Thank you. I know you've seen a lot of people like, man, we ought to get you on the show. So we had to make it happen. Thank you. You know, you're very busy. I'm glad you made it. I'm not busy. You need anything to drink? Oh, just uh, some water. Oh, okay. I'm sure you're probably thirsty. <laughs> Look, when I picked up my rental car, the guy knew who I was. He was like, hey. He was, we saw him perk up, but I, you know, I just think maybe, you know, somebody might find me attractive. I don't automatically think people are like, that's, that's the bitch that be squirting in her car. Well, you seen them numbers. Everybody be watching that shit. I don't know why. Shit, I tell you what. Why? Freaks. <laughs> See how quiet it is in here? It's usually so lively. Everybody really just tuned in wanting to hear what you got to oh say. I don't gosh. know what the fuck they think about to happen. I'm not going to be squirting. We don't know that. We don't not, know that. Not tonight. Oh, okay. How you know when you're going to squirt? Jack, look at you. <laughs> look at you, Jack. Look at you sitting on the couch. <laughs> Look, See, I was like, how do I know I'm going to squirt? Style. <laughs> you too After excited, a lot of bro. orgasms. Okay. It just be building up. Now, I need you to, add, to answer this question for me. Let's and go. You know the question I want to ask you. Well, I'm not sure. Let's go. Is it pee or no? Who cares? Let's do it. Don't nobody care when it's happening. You got a point. And what is your detailing bill like? A lot. Wow. I pay for detailing in two states. Get out of here. Do they give you a special? The dealership actually does. You seen the shit she did at the car wash? Yeah. I sh your shit should be free. Actually, it's funny that you brought that up because actually the detail man is sitting back there and he wanted to make sure that you got his info if you need some, you know, somebody to pull yeah. up and just do that shit. He over there. No bullshit. I will take that. I, I, need, you, man. I need that. I tried to keep the shit. The California person got COVID and never came back. I tried so to I keep it under So I need a new Cali person. If you need Atlanta, nigga, he over there. This is my first time here, actually. Word? Mm-hmm. You don't fuck with Atlanta? I think it's great. It's a great place. Yeah. Especially for people, you know, of African-American descent. Absolutely. I've been saying that all day. Like, we're the majority here. I don't know, though. It felt like everywhere I seen it was black. It was black couples, black kids. It was know, not know, a lot of saying, though, white it's... women and black men. That was nice to see. That's what you used to seeing? Yeah. I'm a product of it. Oh, oh yeah. You got to see that shit. Yeah. But where you from? I was born in California, but I'm an army brat. Oh, really? Yeah. So you moved around? Mm-hmm. And then I joined the Navy. You was in the Navy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Is ironic. that where it all started? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> but I used it though, cause like how how ironic is it that I was in the Navy and now I'm out here water bending my own squirt? Water bending? What's so that? It's like, yeah. What's that? That's how I be spraying it. it up, out, around. You can do that? 
You knew she could do that. You haven't really seen the content then. I mean, no, I didn't know. I didn't know what water bending was and whatnot. Oh, I thought like, was, oh, okay. when you did squirting, you did. I'm like, whoa, that's really cool. It's Every from time Avatar. I see it, I didn't know it was a color thing. Like it's from Avatar. Got it. Water bending. Got you it. Don't control the water. Okay, I didn't watch that movie. <laughs> I, I'm the only nigga I ain't seen it. Yeah, that's my little nah, here in Canada. I, I ain't seen it either, but I have a kid. See? Boom. So, yeah, how I did all, How did all this shit start? How did... When was the first time you squirted? Yeah. Uh, you, probably like 21. Where medicine at? Mm -mm, this all started... Because I found out my cheating baby daddy. Bastard. Yeah, anyways. Shout out um, to that nigga, man. You don't deserve it, that. He created a month. Yeah, yeah. But I was um very non-sexual, very vanilla. Uh and I caught him cheating and then like in the act of cheating. No, no, no. Like uh he would cheat all the time and I'd find out like through the phone and stuff like that. Like going through his phone or yeah. emails or just dumb shit he believed around like condoms. And we didn't use those. Oh, okay. So uh, he, after we had our son, he stopped going out to cheat, but he would disappear all the time into the other master bedroom with the laptop. He was in the army? Navy. We were Navy. Both Navy, yeah. Oh yeah, he was cheating. Oh, they all do. Yeah. That's literally what you're supposed to do when you get here. Yes. They put you on a boat with a whole bunch of- It's weird. And it's like, you. what are you supposed to do? Yeah. It's a love boat. Mm. Literally, that's what it becomes. But um, he would disappear like every night and with the laptop, and you know, at first you're thinking it's just porn and you're okay with it. But then it was like, you can't go get your nails done because we don't got no money. And I'm like, it's the 15th. We get paid on the 1st and the 15th. Where's the money? So he's like, you can't go get your nails done. You can't go do this. And that was a change because if you out cheating, at least I get to go spend the money. Well, I was like, well, what the fuck is going on? Found out he was paying cam models, like booking private chats, tipping them. And it felt like cheating, and I was hurt initially. But instead of just leaving him, like a smart person would do, I was like, mm, I'm gonna sign up and become one. A cam model. Yeah, so I signed up for cam soda, chatterbait, stream mates, and Miss Be Nasty was born. That'll show him. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't. Mm. But. He cheated two weeks later, but um. Did he ever buy like subscribe to you and? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So that's how you got you was able to start getting your nails done because you was bringing it back in and doing what they. <laughs> well, not yet. I didn't. I, this all started in like 2016. Mm. Uh, I didn't get popular until somebody confused me for Carrie Hilson in 2018. I was wondering who you reminded me of. Yeah. That's who it is. Uh, somebody thought I was Carrie Hilson playing with my nipple rings in a video for Titty Tuesday. And they quote tweeted it and they were like, oh my God, Carrie Hilson does porn. And that went viral and I made like 13 grand in a month. Get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. And I quit, I quit my day job. What was your day job? Uh, IT spe specialist. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, I called my baby daddy cheating and I was like, instead of leaving him, I would become one. We were fucking on cam. We made videos together. He was all into it. Still cheated. Things got worse. And I left. And then somebody confused me for Kate Hilson. What, what's things got worse? Uh, domestic violence. He put his hands on me. Mother. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker. Yeah. Well, where is he at now? Uh, no, don't tell wait, him. hold on. Don't tell him. No. Leave that yeah, don't tell him. Please don't internet, tell me. Internet. Internet, yeah. internet, 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 internet. Yeah. Uh, she's like, I'll tell him. No, no, we're good. He'll, he'll, somebody will get this to him. Okay. Let me, yeah. Nigga, wherever you are, if I ever find out who we, I'm calling the police on you. <laughs> God damn it, Jack. I got okay. your back. I appreciate it. Don't even worry about it. We gonna yeah. make, we gonna get this nigga off the streets. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be damned if you put your hands on somebody else. He, he likes to do it to kids too. He hits mm -hmm. kids. Bastard. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Give me his no, number. No, This shit no. ain't got dark now. No, we're good. Okay. Everything had to happen like that for me to get here. Yeah. Unfortunately. Did uh, Carrie Gilson ever, ever, ever follow you back? Uh, she blocked my original Twitter, actually. What? Yeah. My, before the Miss Be Nasty Twitter, I had a previous Twitter, uh, like Britney something. And um, 
everybody kept tagging her like, oh, you do porn, you do porn. And then I was like, I was like, I'm so sorry, Carrie Hilson, that they're doing this. And she just blocked me. So. Hey, you already know what it is, man. What's that time? I'm going back home, y'all. Hey, man, Two AGL. Times. Twice. 28, 29? Where we at? What? ATL. The Gateway Center Arena at College Park. Call it Park. Call it Park. Call it Park. Call it Park, Atlanta. You know, they was Call it Park, Call it Park. Call it Park, Call it Park. We're going to the Ghetto Legends. We're going to the Ghetto Legends. We're going to discuss all that. We're going to discuss what's real Atlanta and what's, you know, Atlanta, you know, all that. I can't wait to tell a nigga where you from. Yeah, you know, we're turning to Ghetto Legends, the unfinished business tour. We back in the A. Come on, man. 85southshow.com. That's www.85southshow.com. Atlanta. We are coming oh, crazy. December 28th and 29th. It's after Christmas, so oh, you can wear all your new shit, your gifts. Going out with a bang, bro. Going out with a bang. We're bringing the new year in. Oh, crazy. Where it all began. You know what I mean? From mm. Smith's Old Bar to the Gateway Center Arena yeah, in man. College Park. So Wednesday make sure you get your tickets. And Thursday. Wednesday oh, and Thursday. I'm not playing. Hey, you, Whole city. You're going to be all Pull work up. them days anyway, because oh. it's almost New Year, so you know how you say stuff. Spend your Christmas check. You know? Come on, see what Spend that Christmas money, nigga. You already know. Get it out the envelope. <laughs> Out the car. Buy a ticket. Buy a ticket. No cap. That's no what speed. it is. Get the app too. And two days. We doing two days. So if you miss the first day, you, you ain't gonna miss the second one. Right. You oh, did. you gonna hear about it. <laughs> Ghetto legendary. Kylie Paul. And Bubba Paul. ATL. Booty 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 booty. ATL. I found you. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Hey, it's me, Clayton English, and navigating life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent like me. Unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual, so when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. That's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp has connected over three million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient and accessible anywhere, 100% online. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched three million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists. Available 100% online, it's affordable, and all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist at any time. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com 85 south. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com, slash, 85 South. It's Patty Carey. It's okay. I'm unblocked on a new page. So we're good. She didn't remember. Okay, cool. Damn. Huh? I don't want that to stop you from, like, buying our albums or nothing like that. Because you can only see, because she's a civilian. Yeah, I would <clears throat> still buy her albums. She got albums. You got an album up? Yeah, they just did a tribute to her on um, the Icon Awards earlier this year. You be knowing shit, bro. You be in the mix a lot. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I thought she was doing music. Now she still get it She still get it in. She on the Millennial Tour right now. Are you bullshit? No. Oh. She got this. She be wearing this. But this is about you. It is. Well, I'm sorry about that. Well, I mean, if I didn't get confused for her. Yeah, well, listen. I, I can't confuse so that's nobody that's what it you. was. They thought you were Carrie Hilson. I don't know how, because Cherry Hilson, the porn star, looks exactly like her. <laughs> Cherry so Hilson? So it's three of y'all out here with the same face. I think it's it's the white woman nose. We all just have slender noses. Y'all should all do something together. And you now you're making me wonder if Cherry Hilson is a squirter. Jack, yeah. sometimes you should just think shit. I don't shit. think so. You should just think shit. I don't think she lets go like that. No? You want to put your money on it? No. See, y'all gonna say the wrong shit and she gonna respond. First of all... All right, let's do a squirt off. <laughs> I'm here for it. Y'all here for a squirt off between her and Carrie Hilson? That's never gonna happen, Jay. but... <laughs> we can dream. Have you ever had a squirt off with somebody? Was I don't know if it was technically a squirt off. Who won? 
I squirted on everybody. It was like nine of us. <laughs> I think I had. I think I had the best radius. You hit everybody in the room. In the in, circle. In yeah. the circle. Oh, yeah. Now that's talent. Yeah. I got spray. What did they say? We were all squirting, so I was equally getting hit with squirt. What are the people you doing when you squirting on the leg? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> They, like, they do this. <laughs> You're not ready for her, Jack. Holy shit. We were all squirting. We knew who was here for. Yeah, everybody in the room was squirting. Nine girls. <laughs> Some of them weren't squirters, so they were just getting doused in it. Got you. Yeah. So if a woman has never squirted before, how can you, do you know how to tell her, to, to show her how to make the squirt? Um... No, because everybody's different. Like, uh, I am, I squirt better when it's dual stem. So penetration plus clit stimulation is the best way to get me there. And a lot of partners sexually don't give you clit stimulation simultaneously, or they don't want you to bring toys into the bedroom. So I'm not squirting on real dick as much as I would when I'm by myself because I know exactly what I'm doing. And then there's some people who are anal and clit stem. Some people squirt just off of clit stimulation. You know, uh, what is your cheat code? You got to find your cheat code. Jack, you look so interested right now, my boy. Because I'm trying to see if it's something that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> most likely, most likely clit stimulation is needed. Clit so at, bring the rose, the wand. Rose wand. Some, uh, ask, ask, honestly, just ask. How do you best orgasm? They'll tell you. Got you. Mm-hmm. Got you. Okay. And then it's something about the combo for me, the the in and the out. In and the out. Mm-hmm. In and the out of what? In the penetration. Okay. So the dick in the G spot. G spot. What's the mm-hmm. G spot? I mean, uh, go ahead. Keep on going. You don't have to find it. <laughs> Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to find it. Jack, every, every person's Jack, different. How you living, bro? I heard it before I ain't never pointed it out, though. And I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. Yeah, just ask. Communication. Because gotcha. mm-hmm. everybody don't know what their G-, G spot is, right? Everybody doesn't it's, squirt either. And everybody don't squirt. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know how to let go. You have to be able to let go. Uh, in the act, we clench, we, you know, like, grasp. Mm. You have to also let go when you feel that feeling. It feels like you're about to piss. I can't believe you explaining this to him. So, Carlos, oh, you knew this already. I didn't know that you didn't know. You didn't answer me. I never asked for instruction. You didn't you answer me. You been making people squirt? You just hope it happened. Yeah. See? You make people squirt, Carlos? Yeah, I have. When the last time you made somebody squirt? Um, a couple months ago. What did you do? <laughs> I could. I wouldn't feel comfortable explaining it to you, honestly. <laughs> Just type of nigga I am, Jack. I got you. I do what the fuck I do. I put up great numbers. Man. You bring toys to the bedroom? I ain't need no toys. I did this one. But do you bring toys to the bedroom? You, do, you doing it again? Yeah, she can bring her toys. Give a fuck. Bring whatever she want. Bring that mm. shit. What did you just whatever. say? Whatever. I mean, what you mean? Them her toys. Whatever she wants. So whatever Try that she wants. Try them. Prime. Not your whatever though. I don't know what the fuck your whatever is. You miss be nasty. Cause I was about what about the the chin dildo? Nah, we don't need that. The chin dildo. Nah, fuck that. Nah. I'm what is that? A uh, dildo that goes on your chin? Why would you put a dildo on your chin for? For the penetration while you eating the pussy. You see why it ain't your whatever? Okay. Yeah, I don't hear that. I feel stupid. Nah, right I just now. did this with just organic. To be a dick, dick on your chin. Straight dick and balls. Really, all I showed up with just a dick and two balls, old school. Yeah, cause that, that seemed like a trick right there. I, I automatically think it's a camera in here before I put that that chin strap on. Like, he he'll do that type of. He do. If nobody like ain't that. looking, why I, else would we do it I for? Know, of course, there would be a camera. Ain't nobody gonna be in it. Mm, there's always a camera when I read. See. You got Get the good the, shit. You got to sell it. You can't just yeah, let that I, shit I, go away. I honestly away. don't have a lot of. Like Just actual sex. Regular sets. sex yeah. without a camera. No, regular sex with a person. Yeah. 
I'm mostly solo. I have a lot of toys. A lot. How many toys do you think you might have at the house? So many that she gave me. A thousand. Away. No. So many that there, there's some in storage. Yeah. Because I don't in have any. In storage. And I have a whole room for them. So you got like a Toys R Us of sex toys. Yes. All kinds. That's nuts. That's fucked up. You go over her house and she be like, go in there and pick out you another dick. <laughs> that that no, is grandma, actually. Okay. You're going to need another one. No, but that's actually would be my dream. So if you're listening, yeah. Listening for what? If what? If anybody was listening, that would be my dream. To do what? If anybody out there is listening, that they would be like, uh, yeah, look, where, where's the toys at? Let me go get one. Oh. And bring it. Yeah. <laughs> you got any like the um what them fake fake um all people? that shit. The fake the what do you call them? The, the, I have the a dogs. torso, yeah. A it torso. don't have a head or arms, but it's like a chest, dick and mm. balls, and booty hole. A chest, dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Call it Leroy. So it's a boy. <laughs> yeah. We do have some, well, not in the house that I'm uh, living in Vegas. They have, the ones that they have, they have titties as well. So it's titties, a slim tummy, dick and balls, <laughs> and a booty hole. <laughs> Those are fun. Uh, why they put the booty hole on the? Um, <laughs> why not? On the boy one. Um, cause sometimes we get asked to like strap. Like they want to see us with a strap, so people fantasizing us pegging them. That's correct. That's that's interesting. Yeah, a lot of people think that the what we do is just straight fucking, and it's catering to fetishes, which could be gotcha. feet. Um. Squirting, spit, titties, oil, ass play, stuff like that. Spitting. Mm. What's the spitting thing? Just spitting. Like making yourself gag so that you spit, drooling on certain body parts. Uh, he know. He, he, he know. No, I don't, I don't like to be spit on. That, that shit be pissing me off. I hate that. It was, did it start running down your ass too? It's disgusting. Don't spit on me. I thought that was the best part. No, that's oh. terrible. It feels. I'm not no fucking baby bird. What so, you, so no sloppy toppy for you, okay? No, I don't. I want some. What's the, the toppy that don't be sloppy? That's the one I want. <laughs> that you know what I'm saying? Regular head. Some licks. That don't sound fun. Some. Licks. Yeah, yeah. Some licks and some, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't, don't, yeah, don't be drooling on me and all that old crazy shit. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I've actually never heard that from somebody. Yeah, I'm. This is Jack Thriller. Because it usually happens at my house. I don't want to clean that up. Let me ask you this question. Oh, okay. Um, the, the squirt, right? Have you ever, like, squirted inside a jar and sold it? Yeah, it's in a jar. It's in a jar right now. In the freezer. What color is it? Um, I was ovulating, so it's a little, it's a little, not quite clear. It's a little cloudy. Hey man, you. I'm waiting the, for the highest bid, though. You and these the questions. highest bid. You yeah. gonna auction it off? Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but I'm seeing who's gonna offer the most first. It went viral on TikTok. I, know. <laughs> I seen it. Hold on, you can squirt on TikTok? No. No. It's just the jar. Got you. Yeah. So you say what is, was in there on TikTok. I told him I'll give him one guess. Got you. But Very they know what I be doing. Got you. So everybody knew. Amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you're 21 and whatnot, how you like decide to, to squirt? Like, how did what you, you mean know you could do you decide? I didn't decide. I just got yeah. a, I got a, a vibrator rabbit toy. So it vibrated on the clit and you're penetrating. Uh -huh. And I was just trying to find my cheat code. And did you, did it scare you when it finally like, look? Oh, oh, shit. No, because it's not, wow. always, it's not always like that. Like I've trained myself to do okay. those, uh, those glamorous large squirts. But in the beginning, because I was afraid to let go, or I wasn't as relaxed. It was just a trickle. 
So that's the thing I tell everybody, like uh, if you're trickling, like if there's still liquid coming out, you're, you're, you're squirting. But don't yeah. be looking for it to be a super soaker sprayer like me. Mm. Cause this is, this coochie's been trained. Talk your shit. I know you're wondering why I'm clapping. Hey man, Ace Major merch live right now. ClaytonEnglish.com. Go get you some, man. We got all the HBCU inspired colorways, man. Go get it. You know what it is. Let's go. Oh that my clap God. right there was for trained coochie. Oh my gosh. Who knew? Who the fuck knew? That's why we bring people on this platform to educate. <laughs> Carlos, I heard what you just said. So that means the opposite of that is untrained coochie. That's probably what you're getting the majority of, Jack. Well, we as men, that's probably what most of it is out here. Just I'm not the only one. Nah, I'm I don't not know. I can't speak on you. you. I don't know. You've been places I ain't never been. I've been some cool places. Yeah. I've been, yeah, it's a surprise in every box. And however you think his life is, it's actually better than that. Don't let this motherfucker fool you. He just looks like that. I'm the Dos Equis man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you done parlayed this shit into a career. You look like you having fun with it, too. Yeah, I love it. That's dope. It's orgasms. That's how you look at it? Yeah. Fuck it. And money, too. Yeah. Exactly. I'm getting paid to orgasm. And orgasms are great. Do so. you ever get tired of orgasming, though? Like, as much as you've done it, like, ah, it's time to orgasm again. Um, actually, <laughs> I'm fortunate enough to get, I've gotten to the point where I, I only work when I'm in the mood now. Yeah, got you. So, yeah, that, that's... What advice would you give to the ladies out there who may not be having great sex and getting great orgasms? Go buy some toys. Find your cheat code. Straight to the point. Yeah. How do you keep your libido up? Do you take any supplements? No. None. You just naturally arouse. Yeah. That's her name, Miss Be Nasty. And she be nasty. How did you get the name? That's a good ass question. She nasty. You gotta, mm. you gotta have to look for yourself, Jack. Don't make her tell you. Oh, no, no, no. Like, somebody really called me Miss Be Nasty, and then, like, I just remembered it when I was trying to come up with a name on Cam Soda. But when I would come see my first love, like, I was in the Navy at the time, and I would drive back down to North Carolina to go see him. And it had been a while, so as soon as I see him, I would want to have sex. And I didn't care where anybody else was in the house. Like, we would always get caught by his sister's friends. Like in the living room or wherever, the backyard or the bathroom or wherever you found us, we would be fucking. And uh, this was had a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. They look forward to you coming home. This was before I was anybody important. It don't matter. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, one day we were all talking about our nicknames, and one of his friends was like, "I call you uh, Be Nasty behind your back." And when I was signing up for them damn campsites and shit, after my baby daddy, after I called my baby daddy, I was like, hmm, Miss Be Nasty. That, that was it. I, ain't, I did not ever think that I would be more than like a casual cam model. Like I would have fans on cam soda here, but like I didn't think I would blow up. Like it would become this. Like this was not my intent. This was, my intent was to save my failing relationship. And then it just became more. And I had to make a decision. Does your baby daddy ever try to get back with you? Absolutely not. Thank God I was scared of that nigga. I... <sighs> nope. When did you realize that it was starting to get big and you was becoming that it girl? What was that moment? When... I made the first million on OnlyFans. The first million. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do that. The yeah. first million. Yeah, cause um, you can go viral and nothing come of it. And it yeah, that, that happened but, to me before. Yeah, I was able to, after the <laughs> Kerry Hilson thing, I was able to continuously find like myself going viral, like finding something to do to make myself go viral. 
Yeah. And um, obviously the car videos were a hit, but whoever leaked the first car wash video on Pornhub did my work for me. Because it just started getting so many views and everybody was like, who is this, who is this, who is this? And once I contacted Pornhub, signed up for Pornhub, and I was like, that's my video, and they put it under my page, like that, it was easy. People were like, let me go find her Twitter, let me go find her OnlyFans. And then, I like, I, you just, here I am. Now it was a million followers. When you was making that first million dollars, right, and you start, you know, you, you, you're you following the money <clears throat> inside of your account and everything, and you, you see it hit 100,000. Then you see it hit 200,000. Or are or, or you panicking like, hey, I should withdraw this shit now before they change their mind. Or do you? No, I just went and paid off all my debt. You had 200,000 subscribers on OnlyFans? No, I have a million followers on Twitter. Oh. Yeah. I didn't, I, don't, I think um, on, on OnlyFans on the free page, it's like 120,000. And then my paid page, it's like eleven or twelve thousand right now. It fluctuates. Yeah. But That's no, I just paid game. off my debt, um, put money away, bought a house, uh, put my sister. I'm putting my sister through school right now. Paid off her debt. Just made sure everything. <laughs> just made sure I could start back from. Cause you know I had shitty credit and everything. You was, very responsible. Uh, Where did you get that from? I was not. <laughs> I oh, just had to okay. break break the curse. <laughs> this is not how I was raised. Um, yeah. So yeah, I had to. And I have a kid now, so. It ain't just you. Yeah, gotcha. I wanted. I, if I'm doing this, if because uh, eventually you know he's he's gonna have to know. And I imagine it's not going to be the easiest for him as I've become as big as I am. But um, at least it would be nice if he had something out of it. 100%, it'll yeah. make it easier for me. <laughs> yeah, so make sure and he's set for life and he can make his decisions and not have to do anything. Like he can literally just at 18 start his life. That's the goal. Mm. And being able to take care of my sister and my grandmother and the rest of my family is, I'm really grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was shooting just to be able to take care of myself and I exceeded that. You, you, you seem, you're very open-minded and that you will pass down <laughs> these values to your, your kid. I don't think you're gonna have a problem with it. I think you'll be just as open-minded. Yeah, I hope so. But um, unfortunately, the same baby daddy that started this with me uh, likes to deny it. So he's framed it as if I'm just the ungodly. I'm sick of this nigga. You know? Hello? What you want to do about it? Oh, please, no. <laughs> Jack, stop, We man. cannot start her. We can't incite violence on this show, oh, guys. please. Sorry. Yeah. So it's hard because um, this was something initially started, you know, for with him, I guess. Mm. And for it to be framed amongst. He uh, mad because you blew up. And everybody in the Navy knows? It's competition. Um, I think he hates, I think people come up to him and be like, ain't this your baby mama? I think that's what it is. Like, yeah, I think that's it. Like, yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah, that's my baby I mama. I think it, no, I don't think it's, I don't, I, I don't think he like it no more. Like, I think if we were on better terms, uh -huh. it would be something for him to flex. I think it's annoying now. He mad because he ain't got you on child support. That's all that is. Well, no, you just gave him the fucking idea. Jack, you be smoking <laughs> so much. You, what is that? That's what I would. I'm just saying, that's what I would be. If that, if I had a problem, like, man, why the fuck I ain't put this bitch on child support? That's what man, I would don't, do. Don't speak that on nobody. Why would you say that? <laughs> no, I probably not. I'm, 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 I'm please, can we cut that part? Yeah, do y'all, yeah, do you, fuck. okay, I'm sorry please. About that, yeah. yeah, don't give no niggas no idea. Yeah, fuck these, yeah, fuck these niggas. Yeah. That's why I don't even fuck with niggas. <laughs> Now one of y'all gotta marry me so I can get y'all money. I'm with it. Jack got all the paper. I'm with it. I'm fucked up in the game I'm right now. I'm with it. You should see my one bedroom. Everything's upside down. I might have to get my page cracking over there. Sign up under my referral code. Oh, right. They hit me and was like, bro, what you wanna do? I was like, ah. 
Yeah, it's different for men. I'm retired ever since I hurt my knee. Why do you say it's different for men? <laughs> I hurt my Y'all's knee. Y'all's audience, I think men get into this, get into this thinking that women watch their content. Uh-huh. It's not the case? No, it's not. Yeah, yeah your audience is not yeah. other women. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's terrible. Yeah. That's yeah. all I needed to hear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why I'm going to keep doing comedy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's nothing what you. Hey, when I used to dance, it would be nothing but Jay, niggas coming to the club. Shut the fuck up, man! Don't. <laughs> yeah. it, it was nothing like I fantasized it was gonna be. No, uh, that's. Yeah, I think a lot of men think they're just gonna be dropping those POV backshot videos, you know, all the time, and it's gonna be like fans asking to see their booty hole wink with their feet up. No, I don't know what you're talking about right now. What? 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 what, 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 what? See, you you gotta watch what you say with her. She. Very she tried. Extreme. She tried to. She like went this. left on me. No, no, yeah. no. And then you got what, you got to grab the cheeks. No, nah, that's not what I want to do. And then you got to make it pucker. No, nah, that's yeah. not. That's See, that's not what, between y'all. Y'all nah, have that conversation. That's not what I wanted to do. I know exactly See? where I get off. And then exactly when, when you tell me now, they be like, Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna tap out on that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep. Yeah, going. cause they're just gonna be men subscribing, and they're gonna be like, oh, you know, I want to see this. That I'm not gonna like that. Um, <laughs> see, that's why I gotta tell y'all. Stay in your lane, bro. That yeah, you right. That shit ain't for you. No, it's not for me. You ain't built like that, bro. I just got queasy inside. This is what you get for asking questions. I knew you was gonna eventually ask some shit, and you was gonna get to that point. You took all the wind out of my sail just now. I don't need y'all, you know, hogging up. We already got a lot of other people subscribing. I don't need y'all joining, really. Why not? You trying to talk people. us out of it? Yeah. You oversaturated. You already got all the bread. You got all the money. No, Whoa, you not. said you made your first million, so that means you made a second million. Well, There's a couple more after that. Whoa. Come on, man. Well, you say like whoop de doo That's a big deal. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, we Thank salute you. that. You beat the game. A lot of people got in it, but shit, you got that paper and said, you know what? It's the move. Yeah. What's the first crazy purchase that you made? Like something, the, the fantasy purchase that you... The Jeep. The Jeep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We love that successful Jeep black women mm-hmm. on this the show. One that you Whatever see? they do to get okay. successful, we just got to mm-hmm. celebrate everybody. The me. infamous Jeep. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, I was like, I need a car, so I went to go look, and I went to the Jeep dealership just... Just going to look, I didn't think I was going to get one. And I sat in it and I was like, oh yeah, I need this. And I just bought it. You remember the song you had played when you drove off the lot? Probably Carrie Hilson. No. Um, R. Oh, Kelly, you remind me of my Jeep? Absolutely not. Uh, I can't think of. Um, Backseat of my Jeep? Mm-mm. Um, but I kept saying BB Poo got the keys to the Jeep. Missy, Missy Elliott. Yeah. So I played that. Mm. But then I watched the video and it's a fucking Hummer. Yeah. <laughs> a, a Hummer is kind of like a Jeep though, right, Carlos? It's like That's a Jeep what they said y'all right? said in the like 90s or some Jeep. shit. Yeah. yeah. It was a big Jeep. That shit pissed me off. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Yeah, but that's all I say every time I get in it. I like it. I like it. So. Did you trick it out on the inside? Do some pimp my well, ride? She definitely tricked it out on the inside. Um, no. <laughs> Oh, the that inside would, ruin, that would be a waste of money. It was custom. It's not. I said, I need all leather. I need the weather mats. Weather mats. Yeah. And that's it. Ooh. It got drain. You know, it got a Jeep's got the drain. So just. Hold on. You saying it's cuts in the flow where the squirt go out? Sometimes. Get out of here. Car be dripping wet. <laughs> From Too the much top sauce. To the... Too much sauce. <laughs> now I'm back turned on. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. This episode is only for adults, grown people. Uh, Miss B Nasty is here. Let me put my leg down. No oh God. And I'm over here percolating. It's time for the percolator. Oh it is God. definitely time for the percolator. So you watch a lot of porn? No, no more. Not no more. Not you- since you start meeting people. You yeah. like every time you go to search, you be seeing them. Yeah. Kind of weird. It's better in person. Yeah. yeah. Do you like go to porn convention? Uh, I went to Exotica in I Miami. love Exotica. Yeah, I didn't go to any didn't this year. did you used to have a booth over there? I used to do, like, like the interviews at Exotica, all the Exotica. Yeah. Um, uh, shit. You know what my, one of my dreams to do, uh, Carlos? 
We got to make this happen, too. Oh, what? goodness. I want to host the AVNs, bro. Hey, you know Jack got about three pornos. Real shit. If they on porn, you better do what I said. No, nah, he not doing something. shit. He's actually in... He in the movie part, not the fucking part. Still. Oh, well, no, I don't think he can monetize. I think the people will fucking get the money. I, I showed my chest. <laughs> and they escorted him out. I, I, got, I got a little cold feet. It, I can't get naked in front of people. I, like, I was that never... That happens a lot. Yeah. Like, men will be like, ooh, I, I would love, you know, like, they want to be on video. Like, yeah. I would love to fuck you on video. I could do it. I want to do it. And then the camera comes out and the dick doesn't get hard. No, it won't do it. It could actually go in. I had to give birth to my dick again. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. It was too, it was too much. It's going crazy on. how your dick know when he on camera though. That's crazy. It's it's it, dog. It, it's scary. Like yeah. I, I never was the dude that ran trains growing up and all that. It, it was just, it's too much. It, this, I can't perform while somebody's in a room, another dude is in a room, it's crazy. A lot of men are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Chico Bean here again. January 6th through the 8th, 2023, we pushing this shit out. You ain't got no excuse not to know I'm coming. Improv in Tempe, Arizona. I'll be there for five shows, so get your tickets. And I ain't even gonna read this for long, cause this shit in January, so you got plenty of time to get your tickets. All right, so you know, I know it's gonna be around tax time. You're gonna be getting your W-2, so think about me when you start to think about what you're gonna spend that money on. January 6th through the 8th, 2023, I will be there. Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller. Sunday, January the 15th, we will be at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino for the Miami Comedy Festival in Miami, Florida. Me, some more, Bruce Bruce, Corey Holcomb, Lavelle Crawford, DC Young Fly, Tony Rock, Ryan Davis, and Mark Curry. Make sure you grab those tickets. Yeah, quiet again. Yeah. Real shit brings silence. Oh my gosh. No, yeah, men don't think it is. Uh, a lot of men have not wanted to record because I needed copies of their IDs. Cause you need copies of their yeah. IDs. And because they have to sign like a. Uh, like photo releases? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is a thing. Yeah. And you got to bring your test in and stuff. See, yep. that was something that I, I learned on the porn set, too. They, they was, you could bring, you got to bring your, um, your sex test. Mm hmm And what not, what is it, sex test? The one, the, uh, the yeah, one with, STD test. STD test, Screen, yeah. yeah. He said your sex test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's yeah. what they should start calling yeah. it, though. You got your sex test? And you, you don't know when the last time somebody really had sex with somebody wrong. Because they just came in the door. They could have fucked somebody in the car before they brought the, you the sex test results. And professional porn stars, like, uh, unlike me, so the, in, on the actual sets yeah. with the companies and stuff like that, they have to keep a current 30-day test. Like COVID. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. And if you had sex since the last test, you have to go get a new one. Wow. And, and it's like $150. How many of those companies approached you? Yeah. You stay independent? I would like to do a professional video just to say I did one. What's the hold up? When the offer first came up, I was making more a day doing less work. So I didn't see the point. It was during COVID. Um, so I felt like I didn't see the benefit then. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's on my bucket list. It's just um, picking the right one. Picking the right one. What does that consist of? Uh, I want to be in control who? Like having more control and say... Hold and on, so people don't have control over who they gonna have sex with on normally? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I gotta fuck this nigga? I do think sometimes you do get booked and you may not know who is coming until like before, like you don't know who's actually gonna get picked or it can get it changed. But like, say if I am now, say currently how it works now, like say the people that I was anticipating working with and it's a content group full of nine girls and like the person that I was really looking for didn't show up and I don't feel like working with the other eight girls, then I don't have to. Like I'm not, I'm not contractually like obligated to. Yeah, you don't gotta do shit you don't right. wanna do. Mm. I prefer it to, nine times out of 10, my content is made uh, like we're really just hanging out. And then things start to escalate and a camera comes out. Got you. And so it's more natural. Like I'm, when we do plan things and things feel more staged, uh, 
It's not my favorite. Like, I'd rather think, I like when the camera just comes out. Gotcha. Yeah. So you, you would, um, when, it, when it comes to doing it, you would rather, you know what I'm saying, do uh, pretty much the girl on girl porn instead of doing a, the guy on girl porn. <clears throat> I am open. You open, but you pr your pr preference is? We'll probably be girl now. Mm. And why is that? It's been fun. Yeah, it looked fun. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah. yeah. I would do that too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And then, and then I think like the couple of porn stars that I think that I would like to work with, they're all females. They're all women, so. Me too. Who are they? Me too. This is crazy. Who you want to work with? They watch this show. We we deep in the porn like circles. Like Kira Noor. Okay. And Demi Sutra. All right, bet. Yeah. Who you want to wear with, Carlos? <sighs> Shit. I don't know. The list is long, Jack. The long list. I want to work with Kiki White. <laughs> 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 Yolanda Adams. Hey, man, Hello? Stop. Stop right there. Kamala Harris. Stop. <laughs> I want to work with Martha Stewart. That's dope. Martha Stewart. That makes little, sense. She got a little, I don't know, it's something about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Them like biscuits. She got, a, she got a little unfinished business with her. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, don't, I, would love, I would love for Miss Oprah to got down. Yeah. At least goddamn put a hand on my lap. Mm -hmm. Get, then, you, get oh, you some of that color purple. You see, I call her Miss Oprah. Mm -hmm. uh, Give her some of that color purple. Oh my God. Yeah, one of them jumps. Mm. Some of that Beloved. That girl from Beloved. I want to work with her. Mm -hmm. The one that actually played Beloved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something about her. Who was that? I don't know. Mm. A lot of people sleep on Viola Davis. Nah. Now that's a firecracker right there. Yeah. Firecracker right there. I too would. Uh, Angela Bassett, nigga. I too Holy put shit. Angela and Viola on my list. Mm hmm. Y'all got some interesting picks. Hey, hey, what about that girl that looked like Angela Bassett? Uh, Lynn Whitfield? She, she looked like Angela Bassett? <laughs> like the I got one eye. Yeah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. No. You wanna fuck with Lynn Whitfield? Yeah, no, I think of her like. She play all them like scary mama roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not. I know. I know Viola Davis be kissing women. You know what I'm saying? Oh, where? Seen it on the TV. Yeah, on How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, okay, bet. Yeah. All right, all right. So I was like, ah, oh, she might be open to. I ain't had a good TV crush mm -hmm. in a little minute. Denise from the Cosby Show. Why you got to be so obscure, Jack? She grown as hell now. Cree Summers. Yeah. From a different world. Yeah. She's hot. Hot. And she do them cartoon, them cartoon voices too. Hot, yeah. Jake. She's hot. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. When she the Freddy nigga, Freddy. That's what you on. I love her so much. You have a broad taste. That's the type of nigga he is though. <laughs> yeah. You gotta I, have that type of guy, right? Yeah. I don't have no type. I'm like Ray Shrimmer. Yeah. That, all women know. <laughs> okay. Throwing that out there. What's next for Miss B Nasty? Is, is it gonna get nastier? I don't think it can. You think it can? You think you've hit your nastiest? Come don't on. answer that. Come you on, took too on. long. You I would, now I you don't even have to answer. I I know she, no, I don't I, it was right there. It was right there. Come on, man. No, nah, I'm good. Let it out. Absolutely. The not. doors of the church are open. No, I don't. I don't. The only thing I think that could be like the best thing that I could do would be like a gangbang. I could go for that. Yeah, like literally just getting tossed like salad. The, 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 like everybody eating your ass. No, like getting thrown around <laughs> onto dick. You done made my partner choke. You alright, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you alright? But. You're scaring people in here. No, I be I become um I think making all the content and and I've had most of my sex uh doing videos, making content. Like before making porn, I think I, I had like slept with four men in my life. 
Get out of here. Mm-hmm. You started in the game with a fairly new pussy. <laughs> that's, that's an advantage. And now she's Olympically trained. Yeah. That's so. dope. How, how many um, people you just think you done slept with now? Don't answer I that. know how many. Oh, how you many? know the exact yeah. number? Please. Uh, 14 men, four women. To this day? Yes. That's great. Yeah, I think uh, it it wasn't, it's once you know how to make you come. Um, You're safer than regular bitches. Okay. Thank you. Holy shit. You wife material. I don't. I think I need a little more experience. Jack, man, I'm... <laughs> Carlos, you don't see what I see? <laughs> Nobody believes me. I believe you. Yeah, because I, I keep a list. No, I definitely believe you. Because, you know, you have to have IDs and stuff. So, like, yeah. the list started after, like, the six non-porn person. So, the, it's all, like, porn people and the couple people that I was sleeping with on the side. Carlos, I saw a first. <laughs> know what you thinking oh. you're gonna try to go behind my back jack i would never do you like that you okay so if i pull that ring out <laughs> don't be oh gosh jack got strong feelings for you miss be nice he falls in love easy though don't do me like that <sighs> tell him how hard i really fall in love easy Cause tell, come on come on you know it's been about like 14 15 years since i've been in love i know that you know that Jack, how the fuck I know this? Remember I told you? All right, bro. Do your thing. Yeah, this is different. I already set you up with the alley, bro. You got to take different. it from here. When you know, you know. Oh, um, gosh. You think you know? When I first laid eyes on you. Oh, God. I knew. I can't fuck with Britney's. Britney's a full of shit. That's your name, Brittany? Mm-hmm. Everybody know that. Brittany's a so full. That's however, what the be for. However they, <laughs> however they spell What'd you think it was for? Man, I thought your name was Cindy or some shit like that, or uh, uh, Shannon. No, it's fucking Brittany. I'm cool with Brittany. Brittany works. Brittany Thriller. Oh, God. <laughs> it kind of go now. You don't fuck with Jack. He said he's trying to cuff you. I, I hear you. I hear him. You what does that income. mean? What, what, what I have to do? What do you mean? What he I have know to do how to, to work the camera, too. He got video That's experience. Good. He can help expand your empire. Okay. Okay. So we go together? Oh, yeah, God. What are you trying to say right now? You're sending me mixed signals. I am not. <laughs> What are you saying? You want to do this? We can chat after. Yeah, damn it, Jack. I'm in. I'm in. Mean, Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me, man. I, you act like she squirted it on my hand or something. I, I feel like everybody would want to shake it after that. I think everybody want to shake it. <laughs> I'm in. That's all right. She a real one. We gonna chat afterwards. <laughs> we gonna chat. I have a date with Lisa. <laughs> I feel like that's all you need is a good stable woman in your life, Jack, to really just bring out your potential. A good who what? A good stable woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, not, you're not stable? Uh-huh. Oh. You did say you made some a bunch of money. You got some stability. Oh, so just financially stable. Stability. That's what Jack needs. He needs some structure. Yeah. A woman who gonna make sure he eat vegetables and shit. Mm, I don't think that's gonna be me. Man. What you think it do you? What? D- what you think it do? What do you mean? Like, the, like the answer to his question and everything. Oh, uh-uh. you you won't feel like you have nothing to offer, Jack. Huh? You lazy? Yeah. That, oh, you saying you don't cook? Absolutely not. He loves Absolutely lazy women. Not. Though. That's his shit. He love a lazy ass woman. <laughs> Lay around, don't do shit most of the time. You like Garfield lazy or like? What you mean? Like, you just be just laying around and whatnot? Like, what's... I feel like there's things that I've done, <clears throat> like, growing up that I just don't feel like doing no more. So, I outsource. You let money change you. 
Um, You're supposed to. No, I'm fortunate that the people, like, I live with my sister, my grandmother. Mm. So, like, my sister enjoys cooking. So, I'm like, what do you need? I oh, got it. Oh, why didn't you just say that in the beginning? Yeah. So, it's like. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. You were scaring me at first. No. I, I mean, like, I cook for my, like, I cook, I, like my son too. is the only person I want to take care of. Mm. Yeah. Your son is the only person I want to take care of, too. I'm, we got some income. No, that's important. Yeah. All right. I'll Hey, put whatever that on you love, list. I love. You know what I'm saying? For and real? then we're going to put this baby daddy check thing in check, too. And so. That, that'll put you top of my list. <laughs> that's where I want to go then. All right, then. Hey, teach me how to dig it. Oh. <laughs> I got you. All right. Jack, it sound like things are getting pretty serious between Come you and Miss Lee Nasty. <laughs> 85 made another love connection. Oh my, another? What was the other? It wasn't him. No, it wasn't me. What we was the other? We never expected this to happen. No. What was it, the other? Well, it's been a lot of fans that met oh. their soulmates off this, uh, this platform. Yeah. You know, by way of the internet. You know, not actually in person. Yeah, this show oh, right here. Oh, you had here a proposal then, yet? Man. Lives. Yeah, of course. Oh, this cute. show right here then brought so many baby mamas and baby daddies back together. Fuck you. But just because he said that you see it, and it's still going to be there. I ain't cutting my shit. That's right. January 30th, there's some niggas in the background looking. Say something, nigga. What you got to say? I see you back there, dirty, hoodie ass nigga. Say something. Say something. I'm on all you niggas. Any niggas say these niggas walk around the corner to see my shit. Fuck all these niggas. You see it? <laughs> nigga, fuck you, nigga. You got on a genie cap, nigga, with nothing up under it. Nigga, cash is spilled. Yeah, fuck all these niggas. January 13th, 2023, nigga. It's going down. Nigga, fuck it. I'm keeping my shit off just for these niggas. Let's read the rest of them. January 14th, Chico Bean back again. MGM Center Stage in Northfield in Cleveland, Ohio. I be there. That's right. Me and my ball spot. Fuck these niggas. Next. January 20th through the 22nd, 2023, Funny Bone in Virginia Beach. Five shows right there. You see it? All right. Next. Fuck these niggas still. They still looking at me. January 27th through the 29th, I'll be at the Improv in Ontario, California for five shows. Yeah, nigga, I got work. I ain't got no hand up front, but I got a job, bitch ass nigga. Hello, everybody. My name is Carlos Miller, and I just came to spread a little black love because I hope you having a good day because this is a good day scent that's black love since i love you so much i want to give you my discount code my personal discount code and go and get 25 percent off l-o-u-s kind of look like love if you write it fast but if you use my code you'll get an additional 25 percent off if you go to the good day sense website and buy you some of these dope ass candles Man, that shit really do smell like black love, though. Like, after black people been holding hands with some cocoa butter on. That's love. Use my personal discount code so you can get you some of these nice-ass candles. And have a good day with a good day scent. 25% off. L-O-U-S. Black love. One of my favorites, because I love you. And you're black. Even if you're not black, the code still works. That's the beautiful part about it. It's crazy. I'll see you next time. No, thank you. Not you, but I'm oh, saying okay. no. We don't need situations that need where it. motherfuckers no. just, you know, just, had minor disagreements and shit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrapes and bruises, yeah, shit work like that. that. Broken house key and shit. Nothing, no, no, physical. Yeah. Locked out, broke mm-hmm. phone type shit. You don't want no more kids, do you? I don't know. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I'm ready to throw the whole uterus away. Damn. What you'll do with it after you throw it away? Get cream pod with no repercussions? That was a good answer. That was a very good answer. You can move on to the lightning round now. That was, okay. that was the truth. Hell yeah. Nobody trying to get caught up getting pregnant while you make a porn? Wow, that's a great fetish, but that it can slow you down. That is a good fetish. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole I, other category. Yes, yes. Yeah. You have to actually type that in, though. They don't just, that don't come up as a tab. You got to search for that one. I see it on Twitter all the time. I love pregnant sex. It was great. He ain't even got no kids. That's the craziest shit about it. I meet a lot of women at OBGYNs. (laughs) 
You would be surprised at how many women are lonely at OBGYNs. Well. How many? <laughs> Countless. Ah. Uh -huh. Love don't live there anymore. My man Jack, I wouldn't trade him for the fucking world. He don't know how to do nothing but tell the truth. OBGYN. What you doing there? Meeting women. You just casually just stroll. Playing a numbers game. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? That's your hey, thing. Hey, how you doing? I mean, hey, how it, you doing? are they pregnant nine times out of ten? They all pregnant, yeah. Yeah, something about you get pregnant and then we end up single, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what they say, though. Shoot or shoot. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But they don't shoot up the club. You see what I'm saying? And when I find out you about to have your baby, that's when I'm breaking up and then go to the next pregnant girl. You, you tripping, Jack. I got a fetish. So you just like it because it, it's already pregnant and it's no repercussion? Yeah. Can't, you can't it, get it pregnant twice? And then, uh, then on top of that, I'm helping you through the pregnancy and whatnot, you know, doing Lamar's classes, helping you breathe and all that other oh, shit. Oh, so you just become the baby daddy for a little bit. Yeah, I'm the baby daddy until... He's not a stepfather. He's exactly. Father stepped, stepped up. up yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a step friend. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, step man. You buy the stuff, like put the crib together and stuff? No, battery sold separately. Mm. I like this chemistry that y'all building. I, I, I ain't like that answer. I, I just see this knocked them down a notch. Oh, you better get back No, in but it's different with you. Like, we over here building right now. Them girls, and over, them old girls over there, they take what they can get. And they swear black men are intimidated by successful black women, bro. This is a millionaire woman, Jack. Don't let her yeah, get I'm away. I'm not intimidated at all. Don't let her get away, Jack. That's I not what I'm going to do. I am a regular. Well. Yeah. It's not even about your money. You know what they say <laughs> now. Behind every strong black woman is a nigga with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. We'll talk about it. Okay. Are you you based here in Atlanta? Absolutely not. Oh, this is gonna be a long distance relationship. <laughs> West Coast, California. What part? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, damn, you. I about no. <laughs> the good is gonna stay in the jar. Jack, you about to move out there? I I could um I'm gonna be by coastal until we. How you feel about this? I'm not looking for a long distance relationship. You don't have to look. It's already here. <laughs> <laughs> they found you. Yeah, don't talk Pick yourself up. out of it now, man. Okay. You had to come to Atlanta and find you a real one. There mm -hmm. you go. You yeah. came to sow your wild oats? He ain't even tripping off me. I'm still sowing them. I got a kid. I know how to sew, too. Oh, my I God. I make quilts. Oh, my God. Man, I'm so proud of my boy right now. I don't, I don't even know what to do, bro. Hey, you got a question? Had the freakiest nigga in the crew. Oh my gosh! You know he already. <laughs> okay. So my question is, you got your money debt free now. You got yourself out the hole. What's your exit plan? I don't have one. I don't have one. I normally say until the coochie squirts dust. Wow. Um, I, I imagine it's that? not going to take that long though. Uh, I don't have an end date. I thoroughly enjoy this. So I don't see the point of stopping doing what I enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I want to do other things like uh, everybody wants me to write a book um, to how we got from Navy to this. But, uh, from Navy to nasty. That's yeah. what you should call it. I'm going to write it down. Yeah, that sounds good. I like it. No, that was really great. From Navy to Nasty. Oh. We fucking with it. Yeah. Okay. They raising their hand. These are such good. <laughs> you see what you do? That's what the pussy do. Oh Make motherfuckers God. obese. They ain't never this nice and cordial. Oh they my gosh. I appreciate it. Shit everybody. Out. I recently put out a meme about the best girl sex females in the industry. Who your dick sucking uh, mentor is what he asked me. Actually, who Charlie, did you mold your game after? Uh, n nobody. I have to, you have to ask everybody how they like their dick suck. So you can't 
take one thing and do it for everybody. You, you actually have to ask. I'm glad you said that. That's it, why I tell him. I'll be yeah. like, suck my dick like you ain't got no fucking sense. Yeah, but um, uh, I and actually like you hate, like you got some hate sense. everybody that raised you. Act a fucking fool on my shit. Okay. That's how I get real disrespectful. Okay. Yeah, don't, yeah, do that. Do that. I, I don't think I have a top five, but I do know like the top two that I've seen the most, and I was like, I need to learn how to do that. And the one person that actually coached me in person was Raquel Savage. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, the person that I've seen the most, like I just seen her goblin dick, was uh, <laughs> Charlie B. Hustle. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, how do they do that? Because I couldn't deep throat until like two years ago. I just figured that out. Let me see. What do you mean? You see the neck. I should have been able to neck. do it the whole time. It's long as hell. Turkey neck. Yeah, it was like, like um, I should have been deep throating dick since the beginning. Wow. That's but, accountability. Mm -hmm. Jack. <laughs> it is. I knew this was going to get too wild. Any questions from this side? You got a lot of fans back there, Miss B. Oh my Nancy. gosh. My homeboy got his hoodie on that he wore for you. I want you to make sure you see. He wore this hoodie specifically for you. Come up here, little hands. <laughs> read, read what his hoodie say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it say sit on my face. He love you. Come show your hands, bro. This nigga got the littlest hands you'll ever see on a grown man. Why would I like little hands? I'm just saying, you never oh. seen no shit like that. Oh. I'm not Christian dreams. I'm just like, why would you think like that would be the thing? He can touch all over you real fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you out here selling just hype, like just making sure they get the hype. This, these are my people. It. That's what that's I do. Great. I he put motherfuckers out. on. Yeah, no, that's great. You know what I'm saying? He want us to win, man. Hell yeah. Everybody. No, yeah, you've been great for me, too. Everybody eats Miss B. Nasty. I agree. But no, no, you've been great uh, showing love to me. Yeah. He a lover, man. I appreciate man. that. I love Good some guy. titties, man. And we, you got some great titties. Oh, thank you. Great titties. Thank you, yeah. We share the same passion. Yeah. I had to pay for him, though. We share the same passion. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll get no judgment here. No, they yeah. look great. My doctor did good. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, man. And it's important to go to a great doctor. Hey, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. You should spend no less than what on your titties? Uh, it, depends it depends on where you're getting them done. Condition they start out in. Yeah, no, I think that, yeah, that too, because a lift is gonna be way more than what I paid, but what I paid in Virginia is not what the doctor would charge me in Hollywood. That's gonna be like 10, 15, whereas I paid six. Them $6,000 titties? Yes, they are. Get out of here. Twice. Twice you had to do it, so it's really 12,000. Yeah. Got you, and w was it any particular reason why you had to do it twice? Uh, the first time I got them done, I was thick and I had more titty meat. Um, then I got sick and I lost a lot of weight and to where I am now. And uh, when I got my boobs done the first time, the titty meat was gone. So I just had saline. It, they just were not, they didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I switched them out for the gummy bears, which just feel and move a little more natural light. They call them gummy bears. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. And mm -hmm. what do they do with the uh, extra titty meat? It's gone. Oh, it, it, you just like sweated I, it I out? I just lost it, yeah. Got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To get deep and educational in this bitch. Like, when you see girls that be having them like real big titties and they get the reductions, you ever wonder what they be doing with the, the, uh, the meat, the doctors? What you mean what they doing with it? No. Like the fat? <laughs> Yeah, like the ch the titty fat and what like what are they <laughs> like they make McNuggets out of it or something? What do they do with that? Shut the fuck up, no man. You never know. Don't answer that. I, I always wanted. I, I I just thought you might know. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about your ass? Did you do anything to it? Did you see one? 
I like it the way it is. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing there. It's, it's just mine. It's all mine. I, I just want to let you know I'm cool with it. I appreciate that. <laughs> gotcha. He already accepted it. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what. That's why that. I was going with that. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. You accepted my ass for my ass. Uh, <laughs> who am I not to accept your ass? Bro, we might be looking at I the future you. right here. The future? The, you don't want me for her? No. Hold on. Now, first I was finna help you with the baby daddy. And now you turning on your dog? Why? Why? She get to pick who you be with? Yeah, what's up? What shit you controlling? She what? like my wife, though. So why y'all can't be my wives? Let me be your husbands. All right, woo her. Huh? Well, okay. her. well then why did you just say that in the first place? Lead with that. If Woo you, her. If you can get her, you can get me. So what are we going to do? <laughs> Talk to her. What you want to do? I'm, I'm in. I don't have a problem with this. I'm not a jealous guy. She acting like she don't want to do nothing, Jack. <laughs> we'll chat after the show. No. Oh, okay. In front of my friends, huh? <laughs> just, just like that, huh? You, She's disrespectful. I don't know. If, I don't know if I can do this. She's a it's tough the nut to crack, Jay. It's the Brooklyn. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P, and I have a very special announcement to make. Now, as you know, we're moving into a whole new studio. We about to have all new everything. So, we wanted to hear from y'all. So, if you have something you want to get off your chest, something that's bothering you, whatever you want to say, you have suggestions, anything, we are having a segment that we're adding to the show. So, what you're going to do is you're going to call a number and leave us a voicemail. Now, y'all know I don't like when y'all get long-winded and shit. Don't be calling, leaving no 10-minute voicemail and nothing like that. So, call, leave us a voicemail. Like I said, if you want to get something off your chest, you have a suggestion for the show. And honestly, y'all can start leaving voicemail voicemails right now because I'm trying to figure out what I want to name the segment. You know, me and Dre have been brainstorming a little bit. So call this number 678-827-1826. That's 678-827-1826. And if you leave a good voicemail, you're going to be featured on Poor Minds. So let us know what we should name the segment. If y'all have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. Talk to y'all soon. Oh, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it, got it. He overprotective, though. Yeah, I know, I know for a fact that Jack is a good man. Yeah. She just don't and want I know how anybody. he feels about you. I ain't never seen him act like this around nobody before. How do you feel about that? It's flattering and sweet. Yeah. I appreciate it. So you will talk to her? <laughs> I'll put it in a good word. It's you can't never not look out for your people, bro. I don't give a fuck what position you get in in life. Always remember. Don't forget about little bro now. Ever. So where can they download and watch some of your good ass content at? I Only know, fans. but I want you to tell them. OnlyFans, Pornhub, Minivids, MissBeNasty.com. Got all the links. MissBeNasty.com. You selling toys on there or you just giving them no. away? Actually, I am gonna start selling my toys after I use them. Just not like. After you use them. Yeah, that's how they want them. You gonna like shrink wrap, wrap them in there. You got to. Like, you got to keep that smell on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's all point. Yeah. <laughs> hey man. That used toy smell. <laughs> yeah. That new squirt smell. Some of them are gonna want booty hole toys. Wow. Now that's what I'm on. I'd buy that. <laughs> now that's Buddha. He'd be the perfect partner for you, man. He might be on that level. What level? Playing in the butt? Nasty. Oh, nasty. Oh. Yeah, you did say you like butt play. Like, oh yeah, Mr. J Nasty. You, you're not in the anal? Oh yeah, wait, I'm 100% in the anal. Who told y'all when? No. She, was that Clarence? He couldn't see. He didn't know you was asking. Oh, him. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I thought mean, she wasn't looking at me when you were saying it. That's what she like. Hmm? Okay. Not mine. Hers. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Some shit ain't, ain't supposed to be for everybody. Yeah, that's why you have to talk to your partner. You got to talk. You got to communicate. Yeah. 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 I'm proud of you, Carlos. What? That you in the anal. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking about, Jack? 
I thought I was by myself, man. No, no. Hey, that was you and her conversation. You see how? Oh, you, you was asking him though, right? Yeah, I was asking you if you were, if you then, were into it. Like, if we was having it, then me and you shouldn't be having it. No, we not having that's it. Not no, I'm talking com- about with girls. No, no, I'm saying the conversation. Oh, I yeah, see what you're doing. That's not a conversation that me and got you have. Got you. I thought, okay, you and this ain't nothing. We high five and got you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you over there with it. Yeah, that's supposed to stay. I don't think it's gonna work, Miss B. Nash. Gotcha. And I think that nigga got demons that he ain't dealt with. <laughs> Cause that shit was never supposed to happen. Okay. Yeah, I think he work. He dealing with something. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Thank you. Ah. you was just able to read it before me. Okay. Damn, Jack. Did you ever want her for me? Oh, I was. I lost before I even started. That, that that um that didn't make you, you didn't answer my question. So once again, just so I'm clear, you was you cool with me in the beginning talking to her? Yes. Oh, and then I had lost it. Yes. Damn, where I lost you at? Well, Jack, I guess you just gonna have to go to what MissBeNasty.com, <laughs> click a link and subscribe. Keep doing what you've been doing. Consolation prize. Miss B Nasty. Do it number two. Keep making this great content, man, because clearly Thank people you. on the internet are watching it. Thank y'all. And you know what I'm saying? You are our first uh, adult movie entertainer to come up here, so you're making history again. Yay! This the first? You don't count, Jake. You don't count. I'm a boy. We ain't have nobody. Who else you talking about? We ain't have- I'm, I'm, I, I really feel, wasn't, wasn't Pinky on the show before? Uh-uh. Or Cherokee? Nope. Sky Black? Nope. Kelly Star? Nope. He finna lose Rocky everybody. Reynolds? Nope. Okay. Yeah, you the first one. Yay. Yeah. And we That's appreciate great. it. We started this motherfucker off. Wet. Get it? Swish. Hey, okay. listen, I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't know I lost it. I thought oh. she was hating from the beginning. <sighs> she not even listening. You know how it is. See? No, thank y'all for having me. No, thank you for being, yeah, you know, Miss B Nasty and giving us some great shit to watch. You know, the shit we act like we ain't watching, but we watch. And thanks for giving me an ear. <laughs> of course. I appreciate it. Yeah. I know this is your first time stopping through the trap, but don't let it be your last. 85 South Show. Miss B. Nasty. Jack Schiller. Thank you. Let's take a photo. Okay. Stay right there, Jack. Oh, God. You got to stand next to Jack. Don't leave that big head space. Don't treat him different. <laughs> treat him normal. <laughs> All right, Jack, get out of my picture. Right, I'm going to put this one in my bathroom or something. <laughs>